Hi everybody. In this short video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction into bitmap query language, or BQL for short. If you know SQL for databases, you know 90% of BQL. This is a stock photo I bought, and what I'm going to be doing is creating a couple of tabs and removing the, back, the black background or dark background. And the reason I'm doing this is I have this site called Blazor Accelerate, and I guess I've been expecting the five or ten visitors a day to go all the way to GitHub and look at the code and see how it works, and that's way too much to ask in the day of cat videos. So what I'm going to do is try to add two tabs here, one for loading data and one for saving data, to try to make it easier for people. Maybe that will help. But what I'm going to do now is just load this image. So I'm going to go to my temp folder. If I can find it. Okay, and I'm going to load this image up. Now, if I turn on the color picker, you can see that the dark, the total here is what I'm looking at. And the total is just the sum of red, green, and blue. The total is like less than 120, even for some of the brighter. 130, I just saw there. So it's about 150. So, it, and if you look at any of these, the colored little tiles are about oh, four, 300 to 500 somewhere in that range so it's pretty simple to just say hide on the next line and that's the one difference between SQL and BQL is most everything has to be on its own line and there's some reasons for that but I'll I'm too lazy to do a more advanced parsing but this works so we're just gonna go hide total less than 160 and that got rid of everything. The only thing I can see is this little edge right here. So that's pretty simple. I don't even really need it, but I'll just show you as a demo. I can just say, I want to hide where X greater than 3,700. Okay, so that worked. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to, these tabs are way too big. So I'm going to try to click about right there and just say hide. And I'm going to use the Y axis, Y less than 1462 and just hit apply. Okay, and I'm going to download my tabs. I'll just put them in my temp folder for now. I can find it again. There we go, and I'll just call this two tabs because that's all I need. Okay, that's my short video. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for pixeldatabase.net because I think it's another great site that is worth the price of free. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.